treating me like a black man, so today I'm going to be a black man. Glad to have you amazing viewers to another exciting time at Comfort for Life Network. My good name is Comfort and I share a collection of TikTok videos for educational purposes on the, I must mention, educational purposes. Uh, thank you so much for being part of this. Smash that like button. To start us off, I will let you listen to this clip. Just a hint, keep your eyes on the lawyer as you listen to the clip. And yeah, let's discuss what comes into your mind. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comment section. We are here to educate ourselves. We are here to raise awareness. For me, trying to protect and defend myself against the attack from three guys. In essence, treating me like a black man. And today, the reason why I'm like this is because I prepared myself to play my part in your kangaroo court. Treating me like a black man, so today I'm going to be a black man. Do you want to say anything further, Mr. Charles? Mm, that's about it, I guess, for now. Oh, also, um, I asked this kangaroo court to put a stay. I will let you listen to the speeches that were made on this particular post, but I also want to remind you that these are people's thoughts. You don't have to agree with everything that is being said, uh, but also we're here to shed light on the things that people are having maybe confusion or bias on. So I just want to hear from you. That specific thing that you're thinking about, that's what I want to hear. So don't hesitate to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Kindly listen to the few stitches that I came across. Mm. There's a lot to unpackage in that video, but let's start with this one. Number one, there's a survey done by prisonpolicy.org that found that by age 35, approximately 50% of black men in the survey have been arrested. 35% have been convicted and 25% have been incarcerated. And he felt that he was being treated like one of us. So he insulted us with blackface, huh? Number two, what y'all think about how the lawyer feels about this? Because the look on his face when they zoomed in, he looked like... Told him, I told him. Number three, facts over feelings, right? According to Pew Research, despite the narrow gap in our incarceration rates, we still remain overrepresented in jail population emissions and we stay longer on average. Number four, this is the part that's wild because according to that same Pew Research, as of 2022, black people were admitted to jail at more than four times the rate of white people and stayed in jail 12 more days on average across 594 jail sample contributing to a large increase in the population observed by us. Number five, every time he called it like kangaroo court, it made me feel some type of way, but he's calling it that because he know they be having this jumping around into all type of sentences and convictions. He felt like I got me jumping like them. Is that why he said it? Lastly, I'm sure it was a lot of us that watched that video and black man like, but the prison industrial complex was and is a replacement for slavery. So targeting people of color can legally strip them of all their rights. 1865 is the abolishment of slavery, right class? Wrong. There was a clause in there that stated, except when punishment for a crime. Crime became the loophole to legalize slavery. Shortly thereafter, we had the black codes. Why are the black codes relevant? Because slave labor was such an integral part of the Southern economy that without it, the economy would collapse. Government literally created laws to target the black community to re-enslave them. Vagrancy laws, being out past curfew, loitering in the street, not having a job when no white person would give them a job. They were arrested for nothing other than being black. Then you had convict leasing, where convicts were literally leased to corporations. Yes, southern states leased prisoners to private railways, mines and large plantations the state profited off the labor but the inmates made zero money well teacher what does that have to do with today that system still in place today as recently as 2010 the court held that prisoners have no enforceable right to be paid under the constitution all across the united states today inmates are forced to work for little to no pay and if they refuse to work they will be punished one in three black males are convicted felons one in three. Let that number set in. Do you believe black people have the proclivity to commit crime? Are they just more evil, inherently evil? Or is there a system in place that has been designed to target and oppress black people?
And if you're white and you've been caught up in this system, if you're that one in 17 number, know that you became collateral damage in a system that was designed to target the black community. So know that I'm not invalidating your experience. I'm not invalidating your struggle. What I am asking you to do is alienate yourself from your privilege, understand the historical context and the depth of this system, how it started and how we got to where we are today. And this is why critical race theory is so important because we can understand how institutions and systems in the United States have impacted different races and we can learn how to stand in solidarity and dismantle said systems because the prison industrial complex needs bodies. Human beings are the commodity. And as Brian Stevenson once famously said, wealth, not culpability, shapes justice in America. And this will help you understand the intersectionality of classism and racism, how the socioeconomic disadvantaged are also being targeted. And we've had an 800% increase in women going to prison. And until we're all free, none of us are free. Why are black people in jail at higher rates than white people? That's the question, right? Maybe because yes. they commit more crimes than white people. But that's not true. Can somebody please explain to me this? Why is every problem in America at the center of black people? No, listen, hear me out. Apparently, we're responsible for all the violence, all the bad and criminalistic. That's us. Apparently, we're responsible for people not getting into college because we're all too dumb and violent. We're racist for saying that Black Lives Matter after a, an alarming amount of black people keep getting killed by police and other subtly racist things keep going on in workplaces and other facilities. I have my own stories, but I don't like to complain about these things. If you'd like to hear one, let me know. I'll make a video on it. Shit's crazy. I acknowledge there's bad people from every single race that doesn't make any race independently bad, though. But it just seems like false statistics are constantly thrown at us. It's like the 1930s. They used to do this in the 1930s. It's like gaslighting. These statistics aren't real, but it gives you a reason to not like black people. Y'all see what I'm saying? First Let of all, he's absolutely correct. The 13th Amendment outlawed slavery by the individual, but then it in law slavery by the state and it validated reincarceration through mass incarceration. So any what they did was they said, OK, we got four million blacks who are about to be free. Four million jobless. We freed them, but we gave them no opportunity, which means they still depended on us to just transform the system. So and we're not going to give them a job. That means these black men and women have to do what they have to break the law to feed their family. So what they did to create this mass incarceration system, which was designed to do what? remove blacks from the functioning society get them out the way so they're not so they don't threaten anything we're trying to do so what did they do they upgraded petty crimes and made them felonies if you didn't have a job you go to jail if you didn't have a home you go to jail as you conclude this video i would want us to direct our thought from what this video started from do you see the result of systemic racism do you see how biased our society is? Do you see how how different we are and how we've taken that difference as a weapon? Like we've taken the race as a as a as a tool to weaponize each other. So this guy did a simple demonstration of how black people are treated and he came looking black. He painted his face black. He painted himself black. Now I want to present myself as a black guy because I've been I've been explaining myself over and over again. And even some part of the clip that were trimmed where he was saying, and you have even included some of the things in my in my document that I didn't, you know, some some kind of stuff like that that has to do with manipulation so that they can take advantage of him. So he came looking like a black guy so that they can see so that you I, I want to feel I want you to know that uh, you are treating me this way because I'm different because oh my goodness why <laughs> what do you think about the whole thing because I'm like uh, it's uh, it's going to take us a long way to even see change I was not expecting to see such videos in 2024 but unfortunately the world is still as it was why are we not changing generations are, are passing coming and we are still practicing the same thing when are we going to let go of the injustice and and be able to live in a in a society that is accommodative and and giving equal representation of people regardless of their race 
so these are my thoughts on this particular video it's just a call to call to to unity call to justice you know uh i don't know what you think about this particular video it's i felt like <laughs> no uh, this is too much there, there are so many i don't know how many things you've analyzed from the video what i've just given is a big a bit of background to in prisons in the u.s and but what do you think if you are to direct your thoughts from where the video started from from the clip you watched first what do you think so <laughs> Kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section. I appreciate that you watched this extent. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye for now.